गाइस वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल टेक टेक्नो वेर वी ब्रिंग यू क्वालिटी टेक कंटेंट एंड मेक योर लाइफ टेक डिशियस So guys we have come up with yet another video where we'll be discussing about Google Developer Solution Challenge 2022 So before we start this video please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it with your friends Also do not forget to mention anything that you would like to see in the comment section of the video So without further ado let's start the video So have you ever thought about building an application or tool that solves a problem your community faces or perhaps you have felt inspired to build something that can help improve the lives of those you care about so the the year ahead brings more opportunities for helping each other and giving back to our communities with that in mind Google Developer Solution Challenge 2022 invites students around the world to join the Google Developer Students Clubs 2022 Solution Challenge where students from around the world are invited to solve for one of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals using Google Technologies. So what are the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? So created by United Nations in 2015 to be achieved by 2030, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals agreed upon by all 193 United Nations member states aim to end poverty, ensure prosperity and protect the planet. So the top 50 teams win a t-shirt, certificate and mentorship from Googlers and other experts to improve and submit a solution for the top prize. The top 10 finalists win a dollar 1000 cash prize per team member, swags, certificates, mentorship from Google and a feature in the Google Developers blog and Demo Day live stream. The top 3 winners win a $3000 cash prize per team member, swags, certificate, mentorship from Google and a feature in the Google Developers blog and Demo Day live stream. So, if you are new to the solution challenge, it is an annual competition that invites university students to develop solutions for real world problems using one or more Google products or platforms. This year, see how you can use Android Firebase, TensorFlow, Google Cloud, Flutter or any of your favorite Google technologies to promote employment for all, economic growth and climate action by building a solution for one or more of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So for the 2022 solution challenge your mission is to create a project that contributes to solving one of the more of 17 sustainable development goals using Google technologies. First being no poverty. so end poverty in all its forms everywhere end hunger that is zero hunger achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture third being good health and well being so ensure healthy lives and promote well being for all at all ages fourth being quality education ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all fifth being gender equality so achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls sixth being clean water and sanitation ensure availability and sustainable management management of water and sanitation for all seventh being affordable and clean energy ensure access to affordable reliable sustainable and modern energy for all eighth being decent work and economic growth promote sustained inclusive and sustainable economic growth full and productive employment and decent work for all ninth being industry innovation and infrastructure that is built resilient infrastructure promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster innovation tenth being reduced inequalities reduce inequality within and among countries and the 11th being sustainable cities and communities that is making cities and human cities settlement inclusive safe resilient and sustainable 12th being responsible consumption and production ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns 13th being climate action that is take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts 14th being life below water we have that conserve sustainability we are using the ocean seas and marine resources for sustainable development and 15th being life on land that is protect restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems manage forest combat desertification and biodiversity loss and halt and reverse the land degradation 
16th being peace, justice and strong institutions. So you need to promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all and build effective, accountable and inclusive in institutions. 17th being the last and not the least partnerships. Strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. So these are all the 17 UN goals that you need to keep in mind before you develop a solution. So how do you need to process? So once you are on the timeline page, you can see that what all steps that you need to follow. So once you are ready to get started, here's an overview of the program timeline and how to start your journey with this year solution challenge. So first step is join a Google Developer Sound uh, Student Club. So if you're not a part of any Google uh, Developer Club and if you're not a member of the DSC, first you have to join it virtually if it exists at your college university. If there is no DSC at your college university, you can join anyone nearby from this event platform. So after this, you will officially register for this challenge by billing the form. So once you are formed, you need to form a team that is a form of four person team with at least one student from the University of the Google Developer Students Club and ideally with a varied set of technical and soft skills. So have a conversation early about causes for care about you most and register for the solution challenge by submitting this form. Third step is select a UN Sustainable Development Goal. So after you submit the form, you need to form a team and select one United Nations Sustainable Development Goal out of 17. You can take help from this video and you can also uh, watch this video to learn more about what you can choose. So once you have started, you now have to learn and build. Fourth is identify a solution. One way to identify a solution is by using a design sprint, a flexible framework for solving problems through designing, prototyping and testing ideas with users over a five day sprint. So if there is no club at your college or university, you can join the closest one through the community event platform. Just click it and open that link and it will redirect to you where you can just log in or sign up for this. So Google Developer Student Clubs are university-based community groups for students interested in Google Developer Technologies. So students from all undergraduate or graduate programs with an interest in growing as a developer are welcome. So you can join by choosing up enter some details and you can just join anyone that is nearest to you or anyone that is for your college. So once you're on the page, you can just click on chapters and you can redirect yourself to the area where you can need to fill the country or your um, your university name or the nearest area that you live in or the country. So country is a broad wide category. I would suggest you to put in your university name or your state name that will give you more uh, uh, lesser options and you can select one whichever suits well for you. So I am just selecting Bharti Vidya Peet College of Engineering Delhi and click on join. You will just be redirected and you are now a member of this chapter. So this is the first step that is done and you can move ahead with the next one. So for the second step where you need to form team and you need to fill in the form, you will be redirected to this form where you need to fill the students club registration form. So by completing this, you submit and agree to the Google contact you store information for up to one year and it just needs you to fill some information like your email address, your name, which Google student developer are you part of and are you associated with any of these lead or core team member facilities or and which technologies are you interested in to learn about or plan to utilize in your project and which United Nations Sustainable Development Goals are you interested in. So you need to identify the solution, design the front-end interface and back-end technology as well. So in the fifth step, you need to design the user interface. This is where your solution user interface and user experience comes in. Start thinking about how a user will interact with the solution. You need to watch this video to learn more about designing an interface. So once you're done with this, you need to design the backend technology. So follow the learning paths on the resources page to help you plan and design the backend. So you can identify the front-end and design the front-end interface and backend technology for your solution of the problem. And for the now it's time to test your solution 
the product that you have built share your working solution with all your friends family members and other students and ask them for their valuable feedback so once you collect feedback by showcasing your project to other students family and friends you will get some i you get will get some meaningful feedback and you can reiterate on your project and make any changes that are required so now you need to record a demo video and submit it by march 31 2022 Put your solution into action. Record a video of a successful demo, maximum two minutes long. So, if it's longer than two minutes, judges won't consider it, other than one twenty seconds of the video. And submit it using the form. The submission form will open on March fifteenth, twenty twenty-two. You can also watch videos of demos from last year's contest to get an idea. Moving ahead with the evaluation criteria. So the evaluation criteria is broadly divided into two sections that is impact and technology. Impact gives 60 points and technology is for 40 points. Impact means does the entry establish a clear problem or challenge drawn from one or more of the UN nations 17 sustainable development goals and is it clearly explained which specific SDG targets the entry in solving for? How effective does the solution address the challenge identified by the team? Is there evidence of a next step? Does the team display a plan for future expansion or if they want to continue? Is there evidence that the solution has been thoroughly tested with real users? And is there evidence that the solution was iterated upon based on user feedback? Technology is does the solution implement all technical components needed to solve the challenge has the team clearly explained what google technology they used why and included guidance on how to run their code does the video demonstration show the working solution and how a user will interact with the solution does the demonstration highlight how google's technologies are implemented and also mention the value the technology provides the user has the team made effective product and technical decisions for the solution so moving ahead we have the decision timeline and the late april top 50 teams are selected after judges review all the submissions against the evaluation criteria the top 50 solution challenge teams will be announced in may the top 50 teams will receive mentorship from google and google developer experts to improve their solution and resubmit it for the top prize And in June the finalist team will be announced and begin to prepare for the 22 22 solution challenge demo day. All the 10 finalists will showcase their solutions during the 2022 solution challenge demo day and the three winning teams will be announced in July. So this is the decision timeline of different stages that will be followed. Moving ahead if we go to the resources page here are some helpful introductory and past event videos to get you started you will also find training content and resources on running a design script below you can see various intro videos that you can listen to and understand various various aspects of the competition these are past solution challenge event videos that you can have a look at moving to how to run a design sprint the design sprint is an exercise developed at gv formerly known as google ventures is a popular method that you can use to identify your solution the design sprint usually takes 5 days to complete and provides a flexible framework that solves problems through design prototypes and test it lets you and your team validate ideas and before you build a product you can also see what all you can learn user journey mapping user interviews success metrics prototyping tools usability study and storyboards as well you can also see check out some of the most popular learning content for developers in the future learning content ranging from android basics in kotlin firebase flutter and everything You can also feel free to visit the FAQ sections where you can see frequently asked questions about the evaluation criteria, UN 17 sustainable development goals, solution related questions, team related questions all are answered in this area. Even in the terms and conditions area, feel free to refer areas that have certain importance like what are the deadlines like to enter the contest, you should be, you know, 
using the so the contest begins at january 11 and ends on may 31st you also need to see the different dates criteria like for round one for round two and different use of google products or platforms you need to include a video submitted to youtube that is no longer than 120 seconds in length and must meet the following criteria so feel free to iterate over these areas and see to various judging criteria so if you're liking this video please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it with your friends also do not forget to mention anything that you would like to see in our comment section so that we could provide you with the amazing videos so once once you're done reading all the terms and conditions you can go back to the page and click on register now so once you click on register now you'll be redirected to the form where you need to fill in the details as told in earlier part of the video so guys if you like this video please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it with your friends also do not forget to mention anything that you would like to see in the comment section stay tuned for more such amazing content thanks a lot